Hi everybody, this is Joni. I'm just coming on today to do a plan with me and my happy planner. And I wanted to show, um, you know, some of the new um, planner girls or guys, um, you know, how I prepare for it. So I take out, you know, some things that I think I might use. Like this is just scrap piece of paper that I cut up with this. Um, that's called, mm, I don't know what it's called. It's, a, it's made by the Happy Planner and it just cuts out the squares to the classic size um, planner. So I took these out. I took out, of course, my glue. Um, so I can glue down some things. I took out um, a blue pen because that's what I'll be writing with and I just kind of went through my books and tried to find something that would coordinate with the page which is has some kind of teal on it and um, you know the washi that I chose and that's really how I get ready so um, so let's get started I I usually um, you know, would put the boxes down first. So I'm just going to do that. And, um, I love this recollection, um, tape dispenser. It's really, um, you know, you don't have to change out the cassette that often, and it's a less expensive option than getting the um, some of the other tapes, like like you know this. It runs out kind of quickly, so I'm just gonna uh, put these boxes down. And like I said, that's how I recycle my scraps. You know, just by using them in here. And you can decorate something, you know, over these boxes. You don't have to leave them plain. So, I'm just going to put them down and then I'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, look at my book and decide which stickers that I'm going to use. So, um, I really like this one here. So I'm going to put that one um, maybe over here in this corner. And it almost looks like this doesn't fit exact, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to put some washi over it. So that'll eat up some of the space that it doesn't cover. And I really like um, this one here with the flowers on it. So um, I'm going to put that one up here. Oh, that went on real crooked. You, If you take those stickers off right away, you can usually reposition them. So until I'm sure that I've got it, the placement right, I usually don't press down really hard. And so, I, you know, I want to have some writing on it, you know, boxes with writing. So I have this one here, and I'm going to do like some layering, you know, and just layer it right on top of that plain blue box. And this says, rise above the storm, and you will find sunshine. So I would like to use um, that one as well. But I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to do some washi tape. Um, 
just so that well you know what I'm gonna do some of this and then the washi tape I want to use um, some of these so I'll do these first and that's just like my little checklist so can remember to do things and I think I'll put another one down over here and yeah that's it I'll do it with that so I'm going to use this washi tape um this I got at the Dollar Tree and I like the Dollar Tree washi tape. It's kind of a little more plasticky than, uh, you know, like paper. But um, that works for me. Okay. Everybody uses different things to kind of tear their washi tape off the pages. You could use a credit card or uh, I don't know if you want to use that if you're doing a video. Maybe like um, a gift card, you know, that's expired. Something that has, you know, a nice edge on it. So I'm just placing my washi. And I try to keep with coordinating colors. And of course, cover up those spaces if you have any spaces in your boxes. And you can use um, as much washi as you want. I'm going to cover up that little bottom pattern because... I don't really want it. I don't really want that pattern. And those are things to keep in mind when you're making a decision on your purchase for your happy planner is, you know, how much design and color is on the planner, you know, because you might want one that's a little bit more plain than this. I, I think I bought this as a 16 month, I mean an 18 month planner and like six months have already passed so I got it discounted. So for me I, I use it as a yearly not a 16, uh, 18 month one. So you know th that's a little tip if you're looking for ways to save money on your planners. I also like to get undated planners in case, you know, for some reason I just stop planning. I'm not wasting. Okay, so going back to this one, um, I think I want to layer this one kind of up here. And, um,. There's another uh, circle, which can kind of tie in the pink, and I'm going to put that in the center, and, um, ah, here's a thumbs up. That's a cool one. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And here is a note to self. So I think that I will put that right down here. And here's a um, weekend. Love the weekend. I think I'm going to put that here. And... 
feeling like I want to put like one of the girls in this. So let me let me go back to one of the oops. Just one of them. I'm going back to the squad goals one and see if I can find a girl. Oh, here I have a bunch. So this one looks like it matches nice. And I'm just gonna put her over here in that top priorities. I feel like I need another sticker over here to balance things out. Um, so I am going to grab a to-do box and layer that over here. And that's my spread for, um, that would be for next week. So if you enjoyed my video, if you'd give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, share your thoughts with me if you liked this layout or you didn't or you have any suggestions for me. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.